Before I learned to cook for my grandparents, I was useless. <laughs> I used to burn everything. So my grandparents used to make me do like little jobs here and there where I'd, you know, sometimes go get the grasshoppers and take the wings off or, you know, our um, and send in it, like cooking that, which is deep fried grasshoppers. Um, which is a snack over in Uganda and just also seeing how um, my grandma which is my judge she would cook um, outside in a outdoor kitchen um, when we would have things like meat we would actually do the process of killing the animals ourselves and then bringing all the veggies from the villages and everything like that and putting it all together to have like these big family meals moving to Shepparton was kind of like a big turning point because it was the first time that I was um, getting in touch with my um, Pacific Island side, all of a sudden this half of me that was not explored from before was now facing this, I guess, the situation where it's like, who actually am I? Me being half Fijian, I grew up on a base in Brisbane, which had people coming from all over the world to sing and dance through gospel. And then through that, we were able to travel all over the world. So traveling to Asia, to the islands, all around Australia. And then when I was about four years old, that was my first actual insight to what it was like living in an African country so I moved to Uganda and that was me spending all those years growing up there and also going to an international school where people from all over the world had come there so people with different accents and cultures and it was such a big mix I was kind of like wow like you know just United Nations in one place Food has definitely helped me make connections. Um, a lot of the time when I meet people that are from East Africa, they're quite shocked that I can cook, you know, a lot of the Ugandan dishes. Like even my housemate, for example, I met her because I went to her house and I cooked Ugandan food and she was so shocked. She was like, oh my gosh, like, who's this island girl or like this white girl, like, you know, coming cooking my food. Social media influences what I eat like a thousand percent. But I'm also really invested in like videos that show like the behind the scenes of like how that stuff is made. And so like seeing like the burgers with the hairspray and seeing that like, you know, ice cream is actually like glue, stuff like that. I find it really interesting and it's really important for um, people that are sharing content to make things that are aesthetically pleasing. A lot of the time with the food that's being presented, it shifts us to eat one way. Like, you know, when it comes to things like a home cooked meal that you might see on like an amateur YouTube video where you might be like actually that doesn't look good because you're not familiar with it it's kind of like you're judging that photo before you knowing that they've done all that behind the scenes <laughs> and when you shame simple things like food which plays such a big role in our lives it you start to feel more self-conscious about yourself and you know maybe it starts to affect the way that you see things like your hair and your skin color and um because if somebody has made fun of one cultural part cultural aspect of you then what else are they thinking about that clearly makes you stand out from everybody else it's all about yeah it's all about presentation i guess even i had the same thing um growing up it's like you go to school in your one way at school and you're completely different from the way that you act at home and your parents are kind of like okay but you're bringing this facade like back into my house like why are you acting like that you know but it's a responsibility of the people in your community to create those safe spaces for you to be confident in um, your cultures and your foods and everything like that you know my island friends we teach um, my African friends a lot of like the cultural stuff they're like we watch movies together we dance we sing together we do kapa haka together stuff like that and it's really fun to see the way that we all interact because they also um, educate us on things uh, you know back like they return the favor and it's a very it's a very safe space for all of us to come together and kind of eat together but also experience each other's cultures which is really amazing to see